What's up, YouTube? I thought I'd continue my streak of um, recording a video uh, the day after I work all night. So I got up a little bit ago, got some sleep, caught up a little bit, and I'm ready to rock and roll. My weekend has started. I don't have overtime this week, which is awesome. Hope all you guys are doing good. Um, I actually got my first ever care package from uh, Aaron P., and man, I mean, what a nice gesture. I am not a big YouTuber. I'm not even a small YouTuber. I'm like a micro YouTuber. And this guy reached out to me on one of my videos and uh, just said, Hey, I, I have a card I think uh, probably fits your um, your collection better than mine if you want it. And I was like, sure, man. That would be awesome. Thank you. And, you know, what, what do you collect? And uh, anyway, long story short, this comes in the mail. Less than a week later. Aaron, dude, this is just really cool, man. This is the um, signature series from Don Russ, Yuan Moncada, number to 99. I mean, just a super generous thing to just essentially give something to uh, a person, just a totally random person that I am. Um, yeah, man. And I, I absolutely am going to send you something back. I've been looking through my cards. For some Red Sox stuff, I want to get it get together a nice little package for you and uh, definitely repay you in some way for uh, just the really nice gesture. That was really cool of you, man. And you will always have the distinction of being the first person to ever send me a care package. Nobody could ever take that away from you. I mean, that's what an honor for you to have that distinction. Um, he also sent me two packs of 89 Bowman. And I actually opened them on camera. I had a little hiccup and I lost. I, I For the first time, I tried to edit my video. And I, I failed epically and I lost it. So it really stinks because I, I opened the packs on camera. I'll just flip through the um, some of the highlights. Kent Herbeck, Twins Legend. Billy Ripken, F, F, Air, F Face Legend. I really want the FF, the FF Air card from 80, 89 clear. That's, that's definitely on there. Steve Finley, awesome career, and I believe this is a pre rookie card for him. I'm not too familiar with, um, with this set. I was three at the time, so this is kind of like a black hole in my collecting life. Duke Snyder, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, a lot of these guys I don't I don't really know and they don't um they have the facsimile autograph on the front. So you gotta look at the back. This is obviously Jamie Moyer, who I think still holds the record for longest career. Um I think he played I think he pitched for like 47 years or something like that. Just kidding. I think Minnie Minoso has that record. If you're not familiar with that, look look it up. He came back a few times decades after he retired for an at-bat. He was really old. Uh, what else we got here? What else we got? What are we looking at here? I really like this set. I mean, this card, that is awesome. Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. Action shot. Looks like he's uh, angrily attempting to tag out Rhino, Ryan Sandberg. They don't they don't have a photography like that anymore. This one's cool. It's a vintage one. Um, I'm not sure who that is. I think it must be some prospect that didn't pan out, but there's no name on the back. So if anyone knows who that is, let me know probably a bust yeah so dude I just I just want to thank you again I mean that was just super cool of you to to shoot a brand new youtuber that's a White Sox fan a card like that an autographed card just really nice of you man I really appreciate it and I'm gonna get your care package together sometimes sometime this week and I'll shoot you an email when it's in the mail um, in other news I came across a box in my basement and I swear this thing appeared out of thin air. 
um, just straight from my childhood, just teleported here. I had seen, <coughs> excuse me, I had seen several boxes of cards and I picked through them clean and had a great time doing so. But there was just a few cards that I remembered having that I thought were lost forever. And last time I went to my parents' house, I looked for it and it was gone. And um, I found it yesterday. It, it was a box, just cards spilling. I, I would show it to you right now, but I don't know. A little bit too messy. A little bit too messy to uh, to show the, um, the public the state of this room. Anyway, it had cards just spilling out the top. There were two baggies with rubber-banded bricks of cards. And then I saw this gold glint. And I was like, what? Are those packs? Are those unopened? Like, there's no way I would have had the patience back then as a kid to open a pack or to buy a pack and not open it, let alone today. Anyway, Tops 2001 Series 2, 99 cents. They were opened, and I'm not sure what I was looking for because I had opened them, rifled through them, and then slid them back in the stack and just kind of put the flap over and put it somewhere. Eventually, it ended up in this box. But there was like 10 of these packs, and um, I'm, I'm actually not sure if I know Ichiro's in this set. I don't know if um, Pujols was in the update or maybe series one I'm not sure I'll, I'll put it I'll put this in the description um, when, when I find that out I should have looked that up anyway so I'm flipping through and I don't know if you saw Filmington's video recently he went through a box of these and all the cards were stuck together he tried a variety of hilarious methods um, none of them worked but uh, same thing these these were all just it was painful peeling them apart and I was looking through them and I was like, I don't want to find an Ichiro. I don't want to find one. Unfortunately, it's not, I mean, it's not completely unfortunate, but there was one sitting on the top. It was sitting on the top of a stack and it had a ding in it. And I think this one had a bad corner too. Um, just crazy that I've had, I found another, one, this one was, uh, one of these has a little bit of surface damage. They're not gradable. Um, but honestly, they're not in horrible shape. If you look, they're, they're pretty sharp. Um, can't really get my camera to focus. Anyway, you just take my word for it. Not gradable, but not bad. Um, it's just crazy to think that I've been sitting on a couple Ichiro rookie cards all this time, and I didn't know. I, I also came across some 2009 Bowman just laying around, and my uh, my adrenaline started kicking in. I'm like, man, there's no way I have a trout. Like, had I pulled a trout, I don't even remember buying 2009 Bowman because I thought I had gone from, like, 01 to 2014. Apparently, I bought a few packs, like, back in 09, 2010. Um, if I had pulled an auto, I would have been smart enough to put it aside but uh, I didn't. Luckily, I guess, looking through, they weren't in the best shape because they were just laying around. There were no trouts. That would have just stung too much. Um, so, yeah, I, I spent like an hour yesterday just looking through these cards. And, oh, man, you want to talk about nostalgia. Just flipping through, like, remembering these cards from, like, middle school. Just really neat. Um, and I, I, I honestly, I need to spend more time going through because I'm sure I passed over stuff. I want to start doing these uh, White Sox team sets. I'm sure there's like hundreds just in the mess. And it's just fun flipping through that stuff. Um, I'll show you guys a few of the other kind of highlights that I came across. Some cool stuff. Nothing super valuable. Um, here's a die cut upper deck. I think this is uh, out of 2000. 99. Top loaders aren't in the best shape. Uh, this is a Nomar. Serial number to 2000. I remember it as a kid when I first saw serial numbered cards. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And uh, I remember trading for this card. It's 2000 out of 2000. And I just thought that was really neat. Sorry. 2000 out of 2000. No more. Uh, same thing. Just a Ron Dane rookie card. I, 
I'm not a huge football guy, but I remember he was like a pretty big prospect. And I remember being excited about picking up this card. It's serial number to 2,500. Not even in a penny sleeve, just rolling around. Edger and James. I, I remember loving these holographics in middle school. Just thinking they're really neat. They had, uh, as Pepino Man calls it, a nice chine. Um, cool baseball set as well. I remember buying a bunch of. I think this was like the first autograph I ever pulled. Kevin Millwood, hand numbered to 500. This dude was awesome in the late 90s, early 2000s. And actually, I'm really, I'm kind of annoyed that I found this when I did because I just shot off a care package to uh, Andy, nostalgic about baseball. And uh, I mean, I don't know if he would have wanted this card, but this would have been cool to put in there. Um, real nice on card auto. Pretty impressive from like in, you know, Fleer. It's not like they were small, but just kind of what I consider just a lesser brand. Had this real nice looking on card auto. This one was fun to find. Luis Viscaino, just minors. Congratulations! Um, this dude ended up in the bullpen for the 2005 White Sox when they won the World Series. So it's just kind of funny to see that I pulled this um, a long time before that. And I didn't know I had that. Peyton Manning rookie card. Really cool. Um, not super valuable. Not in immaculate shape or anything. This is one of his lesser ones. This is out of uh, Skybox Thunder. Still cool. I did not know I owned a Manning card. I need to get this out of there and put it in a sleeve. It's real annoying. Going back to like the Ichiro ones. All the cards that I had, like... I had I had several cards in top loaders. There's like these real yellow looking old beat up top loaders. And some of these cards, um, I'm not gonna show you the ones that are like totally worthless, but uh I put those away, but in Ichiro I didn't. It's just really strange. Like, you know, I was fifteen at the time and I knew who Ichiro was, but I was like saving some of these cards, but the Ichiros I was like, Yeah, whatever, who cares? Really dumb. Um I didn't even know that I bought basketball as a kid, but when I saw this, I vaguely remembered it. This is a Vin Baker, hand numbered to 50. I know he had a really good career. I tried to look up some eBay comps. Um, seems like this card is worth something. I, I think I saw an unnumbered one went for like 18 bucks. I don't really know what to do about it. Um, I'm not a basketball fan. If anybody's interested in this card or if you guys can like help me out on how to price this, because I really hate when people put stuff on eBay for like, I don't know how much this is worth, so I'm going to put it on for $200. If anybody can help me out in figuring out the value of this card. I mean, I know it's not much, but uh, maybe I'll just keep it or or um, eventually give it to a basketball fan. Found this cool Nolan Ryan insert. I haven't done any research. It's probably not rare. It's not numbered or anything. Um, I just thought it was cool. Man. Had I not, did I not know what a penny sleeve was when I was, when I was like 15 years old? Jeez. What, what good is it to throw a card in a top layer just rolling around like that? This is out of Pacific. I don't see a year. 93? Wow. Maybe 93, I'm not sure. Um, it's Paul Pierce game used basketball card. I remember being really excited when I pulled this. Um, I'm sure it's not worth anything, but that's a, that's just a neat card. For some reason, I, I had recollected that it was autographed, but apparently not. And finally, once again, I didn't I didn't know I bought hockey cards, but um, I have two young guns of Daniel Sedin. Two of them. Obviously, he had a great career. Um, I mean, I'm a hockey fan. But I, uh, I'm just not into I'm not into the hockey cards. But uh, I do know that the young guns are like kind of like a key rookie card. I don't think these are these are definitely not tens. Um, they're not they're not in horrible shape by any means. You know, maybe an eight or a nine. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with these either. I mean, talk about not really fitting a collection. Um, 
I thought this was cool. It's just laying around this gold label, Kobe. These, um, this card looks like it's in shockingly good shape for just being laying around. But uh, maybe if I got my jeweler's loop, that would tell me differently. Yeah, the corner's a little soft. Just a cool looking card. So anyway, as I almost drop it. Uh, Aaron, thanks again, man. I really appreciate it. That was really cool of you. I'm excited to add that uh, Moncada that I don't have into my collection. It's going straight in the PC, not going anywhere. Um, and I'm going to get your package together this week. And uh, I'll shoot you an email when I get that in the mail. Thanks again, man. And um, I think my next video I'm going to do an actual update. Not a smart-ass update of my uh, 68 Tops binder. I have it all in the binder, um, like 11% done. So there's a ton of blank spots, but it's really neat because I have, um, I have uh, all the cards in their respective slots, so you can see, um, you can kind of get a feel for like how far I have to go on it. Um, but it's also cool to like have that feeling of completion as you, uh, as you look through the pages. So I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, take care. See ya.